Good day, YouTube. It is the 28th of April, 2023. Autumn Bree, come here, sweetie. Come here. Let's go show everybody the golf cart, okay? Yeah, let's go to the shed. You know where the shed is, sweetie? All right, let's go shed. She knows where the shed is, and it's pretty close to the golf cart. She hates the golf cart. I don't know what's up. All right. So YouTube, this is uh, going to be a video on restoring all the black stuff on this golf cart. So we painted this yesterday. I got it out here in the sun, actually, just kind of cooking. So this was a uh, you know one-day paint job, 25 bucks, Rust-Oleum. Did it without taking it apart, kind of deal. Uh, we're getting this thing ready for a trip we're taking um, in just weeks. Um, I have ordered. A ton of parts for this more on that later but we got to restore the black stuff so we'll do these side panels on the cart we'll do the back bumper on the cart but the other stuff we got them laid out inside let's go look item let's go house let's go house item will show us how the way let's go house sweetie It's a beautiful day. It's like 85. It's never been this warm in the whole since last summer. Thank you, sweetie. All right, so these are the few parts that we have taken off the machine, and we are going to restore them. So what I did start working on was this bumper. It's all beat up, but a new one's 50 bucks. So uh, and I'm spending all my money having my house replumbed and a new bathroom put in and stuff, and I'm retired now. So I'm going to take this razor knife and continue to work on this stuff, try to knock it down. And then we're going to wipe this all down with acetone. We're going to rough it up with a Scotch-Brite pad, all three pieces. Yep. And uh, then we're going to wipe it down one more time with acetone, make sure it's nice and clean. And then we're going to coat these pieces. Wait for it bang with truck bed liner i'm not used to using rust-oleum i really like the harbor freight stuff can't remember what brand it's called but they have been out of that stuff since october i've had a number of different projects i wanted to do with it i've used it very successfully i like it i know what to expect um but i can't get it right now so this is what we're going to use for the first time but i love rust-oleum's other products so we're going to go with that so let me work on this for a little bit i'm just going to use that razor and trim this stuff down Oh, we'll whittle on these owies. Got other videos on this golf cart. One of them, we had to straighten out the bumper supports. Because they were bent. So this thing has impacted something pretty hard. Smacked another cart or something. Or something. Hard for you to see that. Easier to My birthday on Sunday, but we're celebrating today. So I got friends and family coming today. So that's cool. So we're just doing little projects today, not gonna get into anything too crazy. We'll get this golf cart a little closer to get ready for all this fun stuff. Oh I told you I'd fill you in a little more on what's coming. Uh wheels and tires are coming. We're going to uh well, it took me forever to pick the wheel out, but, you know, a nice machine aluminum wheel going from 8s to 10s. Um, could have went to 12s, but I'm not lifting the cart. We may have to put rear, uh, heavy-duty rear springs on it. We'll deal with that 
after we put the wheels on it. And I went to, shoot, what size are those? 215, 65, 10s, which is 22 and a half inch height. Should go on the Yamaha cart without lifting it, but uh, if it's gonna be close, we're gonna put a rear seat on it, which is also ordered. Um, and we might need a little more support, so we might have to put rear springs on it, which aren't is not bad to do. It's just changing the shocks. All right, let's wipe these down. Who knows what's on these? What was on it is now off of it. Okay, we're gonna have to focus in those little holes there. Yep. Now for the big boy. All right, now we're gonna hit him with Scotch Brite pads. Finish this, we'll wipe her down again. All right, we got to wipe down, blew them off of the air compressor. We're gonna put down a little paper. do this and we're ready autumn is gonna supervise from way out there oh yeah so again first time me using the rust-oleum brand of a uh, truck bed liner but here we go <coughs> i don't know i don't know All right, we're gonna let that stuff tack up. So far on this, who knows what's been sprayed on this, but 
embedded armor all or I don't know sagging a little bit I might have went a little too heavy let's slow her down Glenn slow her down she'll be fine I spent a few minutes in many areas it's dry to the touch I did get it a little heavy it kind of ran down that'll be fine um, it looks uh, really good just with one coat and it what is dry has this very similar texture to the Harbor Freight type I was using oh that Harbor Freight is at iron armor that he was using their filler primer yesterday on some stuff and etc so yeah um, so the farther away you go with the can the more texture you get with the finish so we're going for maximum texture because uh, we'll hide the defects better so we'll give us a couple more minutes and then we'll give it a second coat it should be good because I don't think there's enough in that can to do a third okay here we go coat number three we'll start over here Uh, I think we're going to call it good. I think there is enough for a third coat, but we don't need it. So we're going to just let this dry. All right. I'll bring you back when these things have a chance to dry. We can see exactly how they look. I wish I could. I need to pack these outside in the sun. Let's do that. All right. We're drying in the sunshine. What do you think? I think it came out pretty good. The old bumpers get you know, a little beat, but you know, you kind of see the top. I know it's got issues, but hey, that's the way it is. But uh, made it look a lot better than it was. And uh, I'll get the other black parts restored on the cart off camera, but you know, come back for more videos on this thing because uh, we've just begun to customize this cart, but we're on a time crunch so we got to get to getting thanks guys for watching commenting subscribing thumbs up on the way out please and come back for more golf cart videos we'll see you next time